Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Redline's Crimson 3 software and specifically our web server function. In this particular example I'm going to be linking to a PTV which is our Redline productivity station. This device is used for displaying data onto a TV and a plant floor and also displaying production data upstream into an office where typically we'd use the web server. So for today I've got a pre-existing program. Primarily we'll set up our comms as per normal Review, review our other tutorials for information on setting up our communications. Today we want to focus on our web server, but before we do, I'll just show you what we've got on our display page. So we've already pre-configured certain information to suit our production data. So the examples that Redline have are our cells, some process status, basic overview of a particular machine, you know, what our goal is, how many good products we've got, our bad, what our percentage is, and all of this data can be calculated within the device. Our production graph, uh, sorry, um, table of our information, production run, so what the current uh, production line is doing, OEE, big one nowadays where our OEE sits in the marketplace, line down, very important to understand uh, yeah, where our lines are sitting, our safety, and on, and also our tufter. So what we want to be able to achieve is viewing this data onto a large TV through the DVI port. Now that's fantastic, we can plug our TV in. We also need to be able to remotely view all of these graphics. So once we've dragged and dropped and created our graphics as have previously been prepared for us, if we click on our web server, we can go to our title, so we can name this to suit. So this could be um, plant one, plant two, or, or whatever suits. The default um, HTML web page is port 80, so we leave that as default. If we were to click on our um, new page icon, we can add these extra data pages. And these are a great, great way of viewing current goals, produced data. It's a read-only, and it allows you to see the information. Equally, I can create a second page, which also has that data, but I've now allowed the editing of that data. This allows us to enter goals for the day. So for simple applications where you don't have a complex ERP system, we can enter into a web page, update these goals, and that'll be pushed straight to the TV. Now, of course, like all good systems, we also have security. So we don't want everybody logging in. In my particular example, I've got no authentication, but equally, we could set basic, where you can have a username and password, or we can go digest and link to our, um, our other information within the device, such as our security. So let's leave that as none for today's demo. So let's jump across to our PTV that's already running. So the red line device, you start off with an IP address of the actual device. So this is achieved by looking under communications, network, and picking up our IP address. It's exactly that IP that we punch into our web server. In this particular case, I'm using Google Chrome. We get the name of the devices we entered before, so Redline PTV. We have a View Data tab, View Logs tab, and a Remote View. We'll start at the top of the list. If we go View Data, we can see Basic Data Page. So these are the pages I mentioned a second ago that are read-only. So at a glance, I can see in a very basic text format what my goals are and what my produced data is doing. If we refresh that page, you'll see that these numbers are increasing as our production rates go up. If I go back to an editable data page, we now have our key goals. But if I click on edit, I can now update these to suit the production run for that particular day. Now, goal two is now 850. And likewise, we can set the others. If I go back to our main page, I can view my logs. In this particular case, I've got some KPIs set, and we can log into those um, CSV files and see what the data is. You can also likewise copy that onto your computer, and you can then access that through Excel and do further graphing. If we go remote view, this will allow us to actually see what the display is doing without having to actually venture down onto the factory floor. So our web server gives us the ability not just to see basic text, but also to see the graphics of the device as it's live on the shop floor. Now, of course, if there was a particular issue to occur on the line and a maintenance page needed to be displayed, we can break out of this um, data that you see on the screen now and jump to a status page that stays on that page. So instead of the scrolling pages that you see at the moment, we can break that scroll and leave it with a fixed page. So it's as easy as that for remote monitoring of our PTV and equally any of our other products that have a web server. All we need to do is enable the web server, give a tick box, in under our basic settings, no HTML coding is required. It's very straightforward. And then before you know it, you'll be uh, remotely viewing your data either on a local LAN or via one of our 3G routers. Thank you for listening.